Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so today I'm going to start a new series uh, on Health Cloud. Health Cloud is a, it's a pretty uh, interesting tech uh, technology uh, that's built uh, on the Salesforce platform. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys uh, through the trailhead today um, because I really don't want to don't want it to make a slide to copy paste the same stuff, right? I might as well teach you guys from here. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you how to register for an org, which is very important. Um, now, you must be wondering, why do you need to do Health Cloud, right? What's a big deal, right? At least I, I can tell you from New Zealand perspective, from my experience, right? I do work for, uh, I do project for Health New Zealand, or, you know, they changed the name to Health NZ before it was Ministry of Health. So the project, which I I can't tell you more detail, but I'll just give you a, a you know, rough context that I do involve, I do work on a project which involves Health Cloud, right? So we do a lot of stuff around Health Cloud. Obviously, you can imagine, right? A health New Zealand. So, okay. So uh, if you are involved or going to involve uh, in, in something to do with health, then most likely um, uh, the the, your vendor or or your customer might be using Health Cloud, so it's good to know Health Cloud. Uh, I do understand that it's very popular in the United States. In New Zealand, adoption rate is not very high, but still we use it, right? Australia, I'm not sure. Um, maybe if you are from Australia, you can you can let me know how is, how is the Health Cloud uh, market looks like in Australia. Uh, maybe it might be bigger in Sydney or or Brisbane. I I don't know. I mean, I'm just just speculating maybe may there maybe australian hospital who uses uh salesforce might be using health cloud so uh so health cloud like i said right it it's so if you have used sales cloud and service cloud right it just extends the functionality right you'll get the best of both world i would say when you're using health cloud okay um so obviously you know salesforce uh, gives you, you know, a lot of standard stuff, right? You know, out of box, like when it comes to Sales Cloud and uh, and uh, Sales Cloud. But if you wanted to use the Health Cloud, you need to install a package, right? Health Cloud Manage Package. So that Manage Package will come, uh, you know, once it get installed, uh, you know, it will come up. Uh, so it it will install Health Cloud objects and and other stuff for you, right? Um, now. You must be wondering, hmm, okay, that's great, but what's the advantage? Why do we need to use Health Cloud? I can pretty much use a simple Service Cloud and, and Sales Cloud. Why do I need to use Health Cloud, right? So Health Cloud, basically what happens, right? If you're a healthcare provider, right? So obviously you wanted to capture, analyze, and act on patient data in real time, right? And so... What Health Cloud will do, it help you create a comprehensive view of the patient that can be shared across the multiple provider. You can use that functionality in a Health Cloud. Now, so patient management is one of the, the key functionality uh, which offers a uh, care coordination. That's another thing it offers. Um, and, you know, you can also track your patient health histories. Uh, medication and treatment, as well as monitor their progress. This, this is all stuff you can do using uh, your health cloud, right? Um, so one, one more thing I just wanted to mention, which is very important, and you might find it interesting that health cloud is designed to be secure, right? And it's compliant with HIPAA regulation and other industry standard, ensuring that uh, patient data is protected. So most of the medical industry, right, they might be hesitant to use a cloud which is not, you know, HIPAA compliant. So at least in this case, the health cloud is compliant, right? So that's in a br very brief nutshell, you know, what health cloud is about and, you know, why you should consider, right? Uh, if you're a hospital or if you're, a, if you're working as a care provider or, or a payee, there are, you know, the normally when we, talk about uh, health cloud, right? You normally get to hear a few terminologies. One is the provider uh, and one is the payer, right? Mostly like your insurance company, right? And then your medical device companies. So these three thing, three words or three terminologies you will hear more often when you're dealing with health cloud, okay? 
that's that's cool right that's in a nutshell so i hope that's that's quite good enough for you guys to get excited and like i said you get a comprehensive view of the patient right at one place instead of you know looking at you know 50 different places you can view every uh stuff at one place right how exciting that is right okay now so um the few things you need to do once you register uh once you sorry once you install the managed package right since uh, you going to register for a trial org, you will get these features automatically installed or automatically activated, so you don't really have to worry about it. But I just still wanted to showcase the things you should be wary about when you install a managed package because you may not be having that functionality turned on. Okay, the first thing first, right? Uh, let's say you installed an org. Okay, so you, you installed the managed package, right? Everything looks great. Now, for uh for those of you out there right uh who just wanted to learn health cloud don't wanted to buy you know um the managed package you can obviously register for a 30 days trial org okay so i'll i'll put the link in the description below right so this is the link right and once you put the link uh once you you know go to this link you fill in the details here right um and <clears throat> once you fill in the details you start my free trial and you will get the link to you know uh to reset your password and you're good to go for 30 days it's it's really great option if you really wanted to you know see if the health cloud is really the right option for you 30 days is pretty good time right and i'm planning to finish this in within 30 days so that before my trial or expires because i can't demonstrate this on a customer or right because i've signed an nda and i cannot expose any data because right some of the data could be real data right in the sandbox so i cannot expose any of the data right so this is a compliance thing so so instead of what i'm doing i register for a trial org you know and i'm going to show you demo using trial org which is fantastic right okay so i've registered for an org <clears throat> so this is my trial work right pretty fantastic now like i said right uh if you are buying the license right you might be installing um the managed package so once you install the managed package few things you need to check if it's activated if not you need to do that okay first thing first right you need to see the the person account right a lot of things you need to enable person account for it okay so now how to do that um so you go here uh under setup right and under setup uh you go to just type person account right so when you go here so you most likely since it's enabled so you might have an option here to enable it okay so if it's not enabled enable right that will take care of it that's the first thing okay now you need to look for uh something called um share contacts so what do you do so you go to account settings right so you go for type account settings go here and you just allow you know I'll just copy this uh, and look for the oh, it's taking time to load and just control F okay so this needs to be ticked if it's unticked okay now you must be wondering why right so as you can see from the help when you allow use a customer to relate a contact to multiple accounts we recommend you to adjust your activity settings in that so so it using this you can relate a contact to multiple accounts right so one contact can be related to different accounts so if you wanted to do that you need to turn on this option yeah okay so now chatter data protection yeah the chatter settings so that's pretty simple here right go here and just see if it's enabled right so if it's not enabled enable right so there's a name enable option here so if it's not then edit and enable it it will take care of it okay now let's look at the data um, protection details so data protection you copy here this stuff here and paste it here okay so data protection and privacy and okay and make data protection available in records okay so 
individual object stores detail about protection and privacy reference. This way you can respect your customer wishes for how you handle their personal data. So just activate this, right? And that will take care of the stuff. Okay, now that's great. And okay, and then what do you have to do another one? Uh, obviously, you know, if you look at the installed package, um, you know, I'm pretty sure the, it will be installed. Yeah. Let's have a look. Install package. <clears throat> um, yeah, you see, you will find something like this, right? Health Cloud. So you have a license here. So that's that's how you check whether you ins install the package or not. Okay, that's great. So I hope that's clear, right? First, enable the personal account, then share contacts, then data protection. So those are the and, and chatter setting, right? So we we'll looked at it those options needs to be enabled like like i said if you are not using a trial org if you're uh installing using a managed package you need to make sure that these things are in place okay <clears throat> excuse me now we go to custom settings um all right okay now I'll go to custom setting here now I'll go scroll down you see person account so you manage Okay, you edit, uh, and just enable this option, hey, eh? if it's not. That's that's pretty much it, so you can see enable. Um, yeah, so that's all you need to worry about for the initial configuration, right? We're going to look at more options, but just to get you started today, um, follow this step and see how it goes, right? And like I said, I'll put the link in the description below for you to go and register for an org. And I hope you're excited uh, with me to uh, take on this journey. And Health Cloud is really, really exciting tech, right? I, 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 I work with Health Cloud, like I said, right? And and I, I know what I'm talking about. So, and you're in the right place to to learn from the right person. So, uh, it's not a marketing pitch, right? But I can do better marketing pitch. But uh, and but you know, I just give you an honest pitch, right? Because. Like I said, I work on it. I work on this tech, so I'm just teaching you based on my knowledge, right? So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Saturday. Adios.